Welcome to A Touch of Blue Studio with this lesson today with Drawing with Grandma. Thank you so much for being here today and for viewing this demonstration. We are going to sketch a blue jay and I am beginning with the head, again with the oval, and softly placing his eye. The blue jay has a lot of patterns, so it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for me to get those all correct, but um, I put some placement marks on my sketchbook for his tummy and for the back of his neck just to kind of get me started. So I'm trying to get this beautiful little cheek area because it is surrounded by black feathery patterns and it's He's just such a beautiful bird. I, um, I'm i going to add some color a little later too. But first I want to sketch in kind of this caped area that's all really light white and light blue feathery, um, kind of an overlay of his body. So you may want to look at pictures of blue jays. They're just so delicate and these um, little feathery, um, pieces just kind of hang over like a little cape. Now I'm going to structure this wing and it's slightly open. I found this image um, just on um, the internet of a Blue Jay photo that's free for us to use and um, He's just in a beautiful position. His wing is a little bit open. He's sitting on a branch, which I'm going to draw in a moment. But first I want to place that little claw. We only see one of them. And um, he's grasping it. And then the branch, we want to follow that up. And it comes right up. So he's kind of angled on this tall, thin branch. I want to add a little bit of interest in that branch, some twigs, and we'll add some texture in a moment. The first thing though I want to do is to make sure I've got that head correct and the beak um, not too broad. And so I'm going to kind of double check that, erase any excess lines and then begin to do the sketching of the details. I think I have his head correct now. The top of his head is pretty light so I will come later and lighten that up once I get those black framed textures in. Um, so here we go. There's a little glimmer of light in his eye. And if you study animals a lot, you'll see, and even with humans, that we have a little glimmer in our eye as well, a little bit of reflected light. And so that helps to bring life to the animal drawing and um, when you're drawing people as well. So look for that little glimmer right it's usually in the pupil i'm going to get the back of his head um, it's rounded so i'm going to be sure to get that effect also he has kind of a turned neck so i need to be careful to do that this wing is very complex so i'm going to have to take my time there's a lot of black and cerulean blue streaks and patterns and checkered black and checkered white. So I'm going to try to get some of that pattern just as a little bit of an effect to make it look like a blue jay, um, but also not to focus on every single detail. We want to 
do the suggested details of some of our animals. So I'm blocking in, doing some shading. I want to erase out anything that's not correct as far as value. Um, his little feet are grasping that branch and then we can add a little bit of texture on that wooded branch by using some line. The light is coming from the other side, the left side, so I want to shadow and shade the right side of the branch and it'll help to give it some form and it'll look more realistic. So here we go with that cape. There's a little bit of angle on his neck so that it looks like he's turning slightly. So I want to be able to get that effect. So I think I'll get that gradually um, as I develop the details. Okay, I think I'm ready for some details in his head and for corrections and for additional um, marks that will help make him stand out a little bit and emphasize him. Okay, so now I've got my watercolors out and I have washed the background with a color um, that gives him some environment. And it's kind of a green, but I'm gonna start washing him in the areas that he has some blue. And I'll do just a quick wash over all those areas with a medium tone. And let it set and dry a little bit, just to kind of stain the paper. I like to use a medium brush and then this little small brush to spread the washes. And with watercolor, it's a lot about very transparent washes that you wanna lay over and then gradually add more layers of different colors and tones. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of darker blue now and some black and develop those stripes that I mentioned and go over a lot of my pencil marks. I want to be careful with those small little detail areas and not to lose the pencil marks. So I want to keep them loose and pick up with a paper towel anything that's too strong um, but you also want it to stain the paper and mix with the layer underneath it. So it's kind of tricky, but it's also very fascinating to watch the process happen too. So now over that blue that's a little bit dried, I'm going to start developing the darker blue and black patterns that are unique in his feathers. I want to emphasize that little cape I mentioned of the light and white um, feathery areas around his head. And then emphasize the definitions between his spread feathers and the tail. And then he has little checkered patterns on his tail that really are unique to his breed. And then um, after he has dried a little bit, I want to now wash over the blue, the very intense blue areas that make him stand out even more. Um, so we have an underwash of that cerulean blue. Now we're going over with a little bit of stronger and more saturated blue. And that'll also be a wash, but I, I like to leave a little bit of line and then it gradually soaks into the paper 
and fades into the other colors underneath it. So it's really um, takes time, but it's wonderful to see the process. He's developed a little bit more here, so I'm going to start with doing some other details on his feet and on the branch. I'm just going to wash over this branch very simply uh, with a little bit of faded reddish brown. That will go well with his blue color. I'm going to make that branch stand out a little bit. Okay, I think I'm ready for some details. I want to add a little bit of shadow on the branch and then I'm going to finish him up. Here he is, just a little bit of a quick study of this little blue jay. I hope you will give it a try. Thank you for joining me today with Drawing with Grandma with a touch of blue studio.